Hey, my name is Sam, and today I've got a little computer build update for you. I've been working on a custom PC, and I've been having some issues. I was originally going to plan on doing sort of a tutorial video on this, but I'm having some issues, like I just said. I'm repeating myself. Oh. Um, anyhow, that will be coming if I get this to work. Let me show you the hardware I'm installing it on. I'm installing it on a i7 4820K Intel processor. I'm installing it also on an Asus Oh, let me see, uh, P9X79 Pro motherboard, and also I have a PNY GeForce GTX graphics card, la la la, very nice. Um, I'm installing it on a Samsung solid state drive here to 120 gigabytes, and it's an 840 series. I have uh, one drive for Windows and one drive for Mac, that was my original plan. So the setup is I have a drive for each operating system and then like a big drive for files and things the oh, I'm shaking okay so uh, I've already installed Windows and that's working fine I've done some tests it's working amazing but when I'm trying to boot into the OS X installer I am totally failing I've been using the Unibeast and the, the Unibeast USB drive boot creator I think I'm not exactly sure what the technical name for what it does is, but that's what I've been using. You can find it on TonyMax86.com. Excellent site. Uh, their forms, tons of information on making a Hackintosh. That's basically what I'm doing is making a Hackintosh. Uh, the build, voila, right here. So amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be doing a video on that later. Hopefully, if this works. So anyhow, let me show you what the problem is. Okay, so here I have my thumb stick, my thumb drive plugged in right here to the uh, the case. Uh, I think they call it power fields, whatever you want to call it. I have it plugged into the case. I was originally plugging it into the back of the motherboard, but someone said that it's better to just use that because it goes directly into the motherboard. I don't know which is better, but I'm trying it there. It works both ways. So there's the monitor. We will boot up into the installer window. <laughs> and also I should mention I'm doing this video mainly to show people the problem on the forms I've been posting around trying to get some answers and uh, I just figure a actual video will be much more descriptive than me just typing in my frustration. So. Okay, so here we have the Unibeast install screen, whatever. There's the Mavericks installer drive that I've created. Um, I can, uh, you can type on the keyboard, it pops up down there, and you can type in peripherals or boot flags. Um, if I boot in verbose mode, this is what it does. Yep, that's what happens. Uh, no matter what boot flags I type in after the boot up, it does that. Black screen. Doesn't do anything. Really helpful. So, if um, we reset, I will show you what I, happens when I boot without any, without verbose mode. Okay, so here all I'm doing is I'm pressing enter to select the installer.
And voila, Apple screen. Yep. It shows this forever. Like, I've left it on for like 15 minutes, and this is all it does. Nothing new. So, that is my issue. Um, I hope this video helps. Oh, jeez, I can't see myself. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so I hope this video helps you um, see my problem. Uh, like I said, again, I'm totally new to building a computer, and also I'm very new to installing... Mavericks. I've never done this thing before. So, uh, yeah, there's the build. I mean, it works. It's very quiet. It runs excellently. Um, but I have no idea what I'm doing wrong when it comes to installing Mavericks. I have changed BIOS settings to recommended settings. Everything is... Uh, it seems to be in order, but I can't get it to run. So, I'm hoping this video helps show you guys on TonyMac86.com what my problem is. I'm hoping you can help. Um, and if you, if someone stumbles across this video on YouTube, hey, if you know something about this, you know, I really appreciate the help. This has been driving me crazy for literally a week. So, anyhow, thank you for watching this impromptu video vlog of computerness. Um, I will have another video shortly, maybe not shortly, maybe within the next month or so, hopefully, of uh, the build when I get it working. So, anyhow, goodbye.